Hello there beautiful people. So we're off out in the garden once again. We've got about an hour and a half left to go. Um, I've just done out of one hole and we found some foil. So you will see that after this, but I forgot to record an intro. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so now we're out. We've just had another signal. So just to confirm, um, I've changed my settings on here to 10 kilohertz. I did a factory reset field one with the 16 inch coil. And we're also on um, open all metal mode. So that's just the picture of a, a picture of a horseshoe. But we've got ourselves a target down here. So a bit over the shop with this one, but there's a lot of 15s, 13s, and it sounds pretty deep. Just down here. Let's give that a little go. So we got ourselves just a piece of foil on that one again. Hey ho, on to the next one. Right guys, so we've got another target down here. It could well be a screw from the manufacturing of this, manufacturing? From the building of this, um, the bridge we made over here, but. It was all over the shop between 10s and 30s. You lost it? Yeah, there we go. So we're a large bolt from the manufacturer of the from the building of the bridge but um yeah i thought that might be the case it's been there a little while now i think it was four years ago we made it so yeah right anyways on to the next one right guys so we've got a very small signal here it's about sort of three on the depth gauge and we're up by the yurt now where i have had a fair amount i've had some hammered i've had a couple of thimbles buckles things like that but yeah got a target just down here so it's 15 18 it's a very small target though i'm going to be very slow 10 12 29 it's all over the shop we are just there um it isn't the best of signals like i said i've got to be very slow with it to get it to be rep repeated but with it being so dense up here and with the history up here, I thought, you know what? Let's give this new setting a chance and see what we can find. Oh, I see it. Again, we've got foiled once again. It's a weird, it's that like sort of plastic foil that you get in like a, I don't know, a cigarette packet, crisp wrapper, something like that. Right, on to the next one. Right guys, I'm sorry if you can't really see me, but um, yeah, we're up in the like bit of a forest we've got up here. And we've got a belting little signal here. 25 to 39. It does drift off when you turn, but... It sounds to me like a belting little signal. Um, I have found quite a lot up in these woods. Um, oh, might be on a route already. Um, yeah, there's a tree not too far from here where we found an awful lot of um, lead. So uh, this could well be part of the same lead mines. Oh my God, this is ivy and a big old root. Just get it out of the hole. We're either a coin or a button. No, we're a button. 
I've nicked it ever so slightly as well. Yeah, it was just a grotty uh, tomback button there. Um, see where the shank would have been on the back. Well, considering I've been out and I've done a lot of this area many, 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 many times, um, we've definitely been getting better luck with these settings. Um, although it has been mainly tinfoil, we've got a button there, which I have been up around here quite a few times, so we'll see. On to the next. Right, guys, so we've got another tiger down here. It's very similar to the last one. So we're all over the shop. The problem is there's a lot of iron out here. I see it. Alright, so we're some form of butcher's hook or something. Um, yeah. Can't really help that with that sort of shape. It was always going to do a good signal, and I did know that there was a chance it was bad, but it is what it is. On to the next one. Right, guys, we've got another target down here. So 17 to 28. 14, 24. Woo! So this time it would seem we are just a hunk of iron. Um, iron nail, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Right guys, we just spent about half an hour digging one hole and it was obviously too small that I couldn't find it whatsoever. Um, I'm assuming it was coke because the signal was relatively good but I could not get it with a pinpointer and it just kept moving. So I don't know, but we got a banging target down here. 18, 19, 22, 19 predominantly. Right about there. It's been toad geddon over here. Oh my word, roots. They're still down there. Tell you what, this even looks snackered. I'm sorry, there's not better lighting, but it's getting a little bit late now. It almost looks like an arrowhead. See the little divots on each side? I mean, sort of flattened up this side, so it's sort of thicker at the bottom. Ooh. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> We had no history whatsoever about the history of tinfoil, and now we've got... It's got quite a green glimmer to it. Shiny. I honestly don't know. It's not massively sharp. Oh, I don't know. It's quite sharp. Crack in. Right, well, actually, considering it's so late... Ah! Thank you all ever so much for tuning in. I will pop up any details I find out about this on the screen before this. But thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you for all your amazing new subscribers. I think we're at 607 subscribers, which is just insane. Um, we are still doing the Quest X10 Pro giveaway. 
and that will be given away when we hit 1,000 subscribers. The um, items that I have just done for the 500 giveaway will be leaving me hopefully tomorrow. So they're coming to you. Um, thank you ever so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers now.